good evening all we have learned about uh, mutual inductance and self inductance in the previous class today we are going to discuss about coefficient of coupling this is an important magnetic term let's go through coefficient of coupling let's go through the definition of coefficient of coupling coefficient of coupling is represented by small letter k and it is defined as the fraction of magnetic flux produced by one coil that links with the other that is the definition of coefficient of coupling that is it is defined as the fraction of magnetic flux fraction of magnetic flux produced by the current in one coil current in one coil that links with a nearby coil that links with a nearby coil so it is actually a fraction or it is a percentage of magnetic flux produced by the current in one coil that links with the nearby coil let us go through it let us consider two coils having first coil is having a number of turns n1 and second coil is having a number of turns n2 and let a current i1 is made to flow through the first coil we know that when current flows through the coil n1 uh, uh, coil coil n1 when current, current flows through the coil n1 flux phi is uh, produced across the coil and a part of that flux and a part of that flux links with the second coil which is placed nearby to the first coil and that fraction of flux produced in the first coil that links with the second coil is represented by k times phi 1 where phi 1 is the flux, flux produced due to the flowing of current in coil 1. So phi 1 current i1 flows through the first coil of tens number of tens n1 and phi 1 is the flux generated in the first coil and this fraction of phi 1 that is k times phi 1 links with the second coil n2 and at that time we represent k as the coefficient of coupling between the two coils we can represent uh, for self inductance and mutual inductance in the first coil as let l1 is the self inductance of the first coil and the equation of l1 is given by n1 phi 1 divided by i1 also we have mutual inductance between the first coil and second coil that is given by the flux that is k times phi 1 that is flux produced in the first coil that links with the second coil k times phi 1 into number of turns in the second coil divided by current flowing through the first coil this is the expression for mutual inductance mutual inductance and the self inductance of the first coil and as a result of the flux k phi 2 links with the second coil we have a current i2 flowing in the second coil then we can represent the self inductance and mutual inductance of the second coil as self inductance of the second coil l2 is equal to phi 2 into n2 divided by i2 where phi 2 is a flux that links with the second coil n2 is the number of turns of the second coil and i2 is a current flowing through the second coil and also we can represent the mutual inductance of the second coil to that of first coil as that is equal to k times phi 2 that is k times phi 2 into n1 divided by i2 k times phi 2 is the fraction of flux that is produced in the second coil that links with the first coil that is as a result of current i2 flowing in the second coil the flux developed in the second coil is phi 2 and this flux link to first coil and this fraction is termed as k phi 2 that is coefficient of coupling into flux in the second coil this terms this times flux links with the first coil Therefore, we have expression for self inductance of the first coil, mutual inductance of the first coil with respect to second coil, self inductance of the second coil and mutual inductance of the second coil with respect to first coil. And from these two expressions, we know that the fraction of flux links from the first coil to the second coil and fraction of flux linking from the second coil to the 
first coil is equal therefore we can represent the mutual inductance between the coils m12 and m21 is equal to m where m is a common mutual inductance between the first and second coils by multiplying m12 and m21 we can write m12 into m21 is equal to m square that is both of them are equal to m that is m square is equal to k times 51 into n2 divided by 1 expression for m1 m12 and k times 52 into n1 divided by i2 and from this expression that is equal to that is equal to k square times 51 n1 by l1 sorry i1 into 52 n2 divided by i2 let's go through these two equations 51 n1 divided by i1 this is same as that of the self inductance of the first coil and 52 n2 by i2 this is same as that of the self inductance of the second coil therefore we can write m square is equal to k square into l1 l2 or we can write m is equal to k root of l1 l2 and from that expression we can write coefficient of coupling k is given by coefficient of coupling k is given by m divided by root of l1 l2 that is coefficient of coupling k is given by the ratio of mutual inductance between two coils divided by the square root of the product of self inductance of the two individual coils that is we can represent k as k is equal to actual mutual inductance between two coils that is actual mutual inductance divided by maximum possible mutual inductance that is m is the actual mutual inductance between the two coils and root of l1 l2 is a maximum possible mutual inductance between the two coils having individual self inductance as l1 and l2 therefore we can give the expression of k as k is equal to m by root of l1 l2 and m is the actual mutual inductance and root of l1 l2 is a maximum possible mutual inductance between two coils having individual self inductance l1 and l2 this is all about coefficient of coupling thank you